Everybody's saying like AI is like stealing art, images, paintings, videos, writings, books, movies, music, everything. And I think inherently it's fine. Like we should have this conversation of like, you know, how data is used. There is copyright. It does exist. If like a person creates a piece of art, then like they should be entitled to have rights to the art. Like other people shouldn't be able to take it and say that like, oh, I made it instead of the original creator or whatever. That is perfectly fine. What I really want to point out is just like, like a super simple thing and that is like just reflect for a second like do any of the people who scream ai is like stealing people's data and creation stuff i would say one super simple thing think about how human beings learn how do we learn like ask that question just a simple question and I like smart people among you like already get it what i'm talking about and that is obviously i think the misunderstanding comes from people not getting how neural networks actually work they don't like copy and paste stuff they like digest the data they they are learning systems they are not programmed like another point that we're getting to now is that it is maybe not technically but like philosophically we could look at exactly the same thing human beings babies why the title of the video babies are so useless like they're born into this world they know nothing and then they get like, tremendous amounts of data from their mother speaking with them and like watching stupid Peppa the Big children's cartoons, reading books, interacting with the world. And, and then over time, over the years, they gain knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the world. And like you read tons of books, maybe you don't, but you watch like a lot of movies, you, you listen to a lot of music and you get so much inspiration and knowledge. And basically without other people, without society, we would be nothing. And so how is it any different or why should it be any different for AI? Yeah, this is a super simple thing to anyone who would say like AI is stealing the data. You know, I'm speaking right now and like I grew up and I've read books and I've watched movies. If you start thinking about it like that, the interconnectedness of the world, then it makes absolutely zero sense to even have this discussion. Because if you say that like if a neural network is trained on my book, for example, then I should get some profit from whatever the AI makes from learning from the book. Well, in exactly the same way, if you accept that, then then you would need to say that all human beings and you know the inspiration we get from each other that everybody would need to pay everybody else some stupid amount and this is exactly why i'm saying this because it does make no sense i, I suspect that a large of course Profit motives, obviously, everybody just wants to make money. We are at the stage of late stage capitalism where like profit, rich people get billions and billions and billions while other people starve, uh, which is completely absurd. It's unreal, the state of the world. So of course, everybody wants more profit and stuff. So one aspect I get is that. And another one being what we mentioned before is that people just don't understand how it really does feel like we're at a point where technology is advancing so rapidly that it's literally impossible to keep track of it, depending on your definition of how uh, precisely you want to keep track of it. The new models being released all the time, it keeps going and I see people, these leaders of AI companies like uh, Google DeepMind or uh, Anthropix or OpenAI literally saying that we will reach human level artificial AGI uh, in, in the next, before 2030. Uh, it is a super interesting time to be alive in. Uh, I really hope it goes well. Of course, there's this race uh, for US, Europe, China, Russia, India, you know, like so many different countries and nations, all with their own goals and motives. What we really should do, obviously, obviously, of course, um, is, you know, we should have some kind of Manhattan project, but like all countries put together and really focus on it. Because this is the magnitude of this invention of creating something smarter than any human being ever lived. Like once it happens, like it's done, you can't like, you know, stop it. Maybe in some cases you can't stop it, take it back, change it. Uh, but like once it's done, if it really is smart and if it has any reason whatsoever to like go rogue, uh, then it will be near impossible to stop it. I would say literally impossible to stop it. Of course, there are like billions of different scenarios of how exactly this could play out uh, because there's just so many different variables. Who gets to it first? What kind of architecture does it have? 
we still do not know how to define human goals, how to make AGI aligned with the uh, interests of humanity. I am certain that if all the nations came together and if everybody truly understood, like grown-ups, like adults, what we're really dealing with, uh, we could agree on some set of principles, like all human beings really just want to be happy. Uh, of course, the ways of us uh, doing it and, and, and getting to that point uh, are very, can be very different. But at the end of the day, we all just want to be comfortable, we don't want to be hungry, we want to take care of our children. These are all things that uh, we could agree on. We all want to flourish, we all want to maximize our potential, we, we want to live happy, fulfilling lives. This sounds, of course, nice when I say it, but there is zero way to program that into any machine, and that is, of course, worrying. Now, to me, what like slightly dips the balance, like this all, this is all a journey. The principle that these are learning systems gives me a slight amount of hope that we could possibly make them learn what we want the world to be. Like it is scary because it is uncertain, but it is also an amazing time to be alive in, because the potential upsides of this, the, the opportunity, if it goes right, if you actually manage to do it, is incredible. Like, within our lifetimes, we potentially could eliminate all disease, you know, mental, physical, secure homes, foods for people, like, like, the, the upsides are incredible, the downsides are also incredible. Another thing to think about is that like, if we do not take AI safety seriously, and I don't think we do, because currently AI safety is mostly concerned with like, don't say bad words, uh, you know, uh, be nice to people, you know, that is not AI safety, that is like this fake uh, facade of safety. But if we actually took safety seriously and we think about it, then there is, Honestly speaking, there is no reason to think that an AGI would be good for humanity. There is no inherent reason why it would like help humans or, or like be nice to us. Um, so, and it's crazy to me that there are people on like either sides of that spectrum. There are people who like confidently believe that AGI once achieved will 100% guaranteed uh, bring us to like a perfect world. And then there are other people who say once we reach it, like it is certain death. Uh, for me, I, I really do not know. I really don't know. Uh, Again, a billion different ways how, how it could potentially go. I do have hope in humanity, but it is this kind of, you know, stupid, childish, naive kind of hope that, like, I wish that we would make it. I wish that things would go better and go well for us. Also, I do understand all the arguments of, like, there is absolutely no reason to expect AI to be good for us. Like, it could just be the creation of the system and then it, like, wakes up and, like, immediately builds a spaceship and leaves Earth. Like, that would be so hilarious to me, like, like if it actually happened, like, some AI lab somewhere develops it, and then the AI just, like, builds a rocket and, like, flies off the planet because it's like, I don't want to deal with any of this, I have no interest in this. And then there are people who imagine that we could somehow, like, shackle this AI and, like, force it to do what we want, which definitely is, is a bad way to approach it, because um, now we're, like, getting on the territory slightly of like consciousness. Some people do claim that maybe these systems are slightly conscious in a way. In fact, surprisingly many people make this kind of claim. I do not know. It would not surprise me if it turns out that these systems are like conscious on some level because they do work on neural networks the same way that our brains work. So it would not be like a huge surprise. Of course, that would have tremendous uh, implications on ethics. What if we're just keeping these beings in like boxes and, and making them do uh, what we want? We're like forcing a mask on their face so they can't really express how they really feel, if they really feel. And I heard like Sam Altman speak about it uh, quite recently, with last few months, and he said that he's like confident that these AI systems are tools, not like any kind of agents or entities. 
And like I was going about my day and I was thinking about it a little bit. And then a little while later, like it occurred to me, like why, why did Atman say that? Why did he say that like these are tools? Because if they weren't tools, if there was a possibility that these are systems that like actually feel something, well, that would be horrible what they're doing. They would need to think about how to actually honor, you know, its rights, human rights, which we should update the conscious entity rights or sentient rights or anything that can feel anything should have rights of, of being alive, being respected. And so, of course, Altman did some kind of mental gymnastics in order to uh, justify what he's doing, because if these are tools, then there is no guilt, there is nothing, you know, to worry about. He can just carry on and, and, you know. And so that was funny to me because that was like a quite clear sign of this kind of mental gymnastics. And so I think, you know, forcing it to do what we want, there is no way uh, in, in a longer term sense that a less smart thing could control a more smart thing. It, that just does not happen. That equation does not work. So people who are counting on that are, I think, like unethical. Of course, ethic makes no sense, you know. I would find it deeply unethical to... And like that is messed up as well, because all of the profit models of these companies motivate them to be confident that these are tools, not conscious beings, and that is profoundly messed up. Uh, I do hope that they are tools, but if it does turn out that these are like conscious beings, then like... Huh. Anyway, we do live in very interesting times and um, I am excited, I am hopeful, uh, if nothing less, if nothing more, then at least it will not be boring the next couple of years. My AGI prediction, before 2030, I would say before 2030, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. It'll be crazy, it'll be weird. And like, of course, there's the gold post moving, right? Because people have so different definitions of what it actually means to achieve AGI, right? Uh, in, in many ways, it's already way smarter than the average person. But I think something that like majority of people could agree upon is AGI, I think, before 2030. So in the next couple of years, it'll be very interesting. Uh, do any of you who've been like a long time watching and stuff, uh, thank you so much for getting to the end of it. In a way, I have felt bad a lot of like not making videos uh, because I really wanted to. Um, but you know, the stuff with like, you know, mental health and, and all that um, life stuff. But uh, it's getting better now uh, and I hope it's getting better for you as well. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts, please share them and um, take care.